For the most part, we use drawings to display hard physical edges of parts. But from time to time, we might need to make use of sketches to highlight certain areas in our drawings. Today, I want to present to you a recommended workflow for selectively showing or hiding sketches inside of SOLIDWORKS drawings. So I have a model of a PCB here. On top of this PCB, I have created two sketches to show different areas which would be pertinent to the electrical engineer during the circuit design. The first sketch is to show the copper ring around each of the mounting holes. The second sketch is to delineate an area where there should be no components added. This might be due to some mechanical interference with the housing, for example. So going to the drawing, we are given the ability to hide or show sketches at a universal level. We can do that by going to View, Hide Show, Sketches. For sketches that we do not want to be shown, we can right click on the sketch and choose to hide. This is certainly one way to deal with sketches on a drawing. But in my experience, it is not ideal as sketches often show up unpredictably. And you will find yourself often struggling between controlling the sketches at a universal level and hiding them selectively. So here is where layers can come in to save the day. First, let's go ahead and choose to hide the sketches at a universal level. And then let's create two new layers one for the copper ring and one for the keep out. Now you can see that I already have the layers toolbar on the bottom left hand corner of my screen. If you do not have that, go ahead and right click on your menu bar and make sure that your layer toolbar is activated. So let's go to layer properties and create a new layer. Let's call this layer copper ring. And set the layer color to red. Click OK to exit out of the window. At this point, you can tell from the drop down menu that the copper ring layer is active. So let's choose the copper ring sketch from the feature tree and go to convert entities. And you can see that the copper ring immediately becomes red. So let's do the same for the keep out area sketch. Go to layer properties and create another layer for this keep out. And let's choose the color blue this time now. Making sure that the keep out area layer is active, select the keep out area sketch and go to convert entities. The great thing about doing this in layers is that you can go to layer properties and turn the individual layers on or off by clicking on these light bulbs. So as long as you have the appropriate layer active, any further drawing entities that you add to this layer will appear in the same color. And this can be in the form of dimensions, sketches, notes, or even hatching. And since we are using convert entities, any changes to the sketches at the part level will be translated accordingly in the drawing. We can even do an offset if we wish. So I will strongly encourage everyone to stop trying to show or hide sketches and instead harness the power of layers in drawings. Alright, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.